What's up guys, and welcome back to Empire Total War, where last week we finally, finally, after like, what, like three or four weeks of saying it was going to happen, declared war on France. And, uh, that's like caveat to that. We declared war on France, and we also managed to declare war on, who else did we declare war on? The United States, Quebec, which is basically all of Canada at this stage, um, Bavaria, which are these guys down here, and we're already at war with them. The uh, Pueblo Nations, who I believe are Eastern, uh, Western America, possibly? Is this? Yeah, these guys down here. So, uh, yeah, we're going to have to deal with that. So basically, we're at war with North America. That is kind of the be-all and end-all of declaring war on France, as we now are at war with basically all of North America, apart from these guys who have somehow popped up. I'm pretty sure they died. I'm pretty sure they disappeared and uh, somehow they've managed to reappear again. So, not sure what the deal with those guys is. But, we now have to work out what we're going to do because we could try and take part of America. Could try and take Savannah, like Georgia, Carolinas, um, possibly like the Cherokee territories over here. And I am tempted to do it, but at the same time, I've already got enough on my plate to be worrying about trying to take on the United States, so what we might try and do is uh, immediately make up with the US and try and become... I mean, they're very friendly with us, but they de decided to declare war on us anyway because for some reason they joined the French. So if we could try and get a peace treaty with them, it would be very useful because... As much as I would like to start taking parts of America, I don't want to have to spread my resources so thin across two continents. There we go. Right. Cost us a couple of technologies, but I think in the long run that might save us a bit of bother because all they have to do is... Florida's not that protected. We, our main army is sitting over here in New Orleans, so all they have to do is send an army down here and take Florida send a few ships down, they can start taking parts of the Caribbean, which are, again, not very defended. We're already having to deal with the French over this way, so we'll have to worry about what they're going to do over here. And we're still... it hasn't fixed everything, because we're still at war with Quebec, which, for the time being, I don't think is a big issue. I think once we take uh, Fort de Chartes over here, um, then we're right on the border with them and they might become an issue, but for now, I think they're far enough away that we don't have to worry about them. These guys might be an issue. And I'm not sure what to do with them down here in Texas. Might just send an army over this way and see if we can take them out. I don't know how big they'll be, to be quite honest. They've been there for quite a while, so they might end up... They might have absolutely nothing, but then they might end up being a Georgia or a Portugal, where you get there and suddenly you find out that they've, they've got, like, a million troops just stacked up there for no apparent reason. But our main, main worries are over here. So, last week, we dropped these guys off on the beach in Normandy, well, a bit along from Normandy, one of the beaches, um, and we'll uh, we'll send them this direction, but it's going to take them two turns to get from there to Paris, so we're going to have to wait a bit of time before we can hit Paris. I think Paris should be pretty easy to take. I think most of the French troops will be along here, but it's whether in those two turns they send troops this direction and try and take us on, and uh, equally whether they send troops up this direction and try and uh, take back Amsterdam. So. We'll find out what happens, but we're going to have to end turn because we've got no money left, so we'll uh, we'll get on with things. <laughs> and now the French have got an Austrian army sitting right on the border as well, like a full-sized Austrian army to have to worry about as well. So they're now being attacked from both sides. This, this could work out... Oh, the Austrians have just taken Cologne. Alright, so this is... Uh, Interesting. I mean, they have just taken out the biggest army that French that I've seen the French with, so I'm not sure what what car what like that's going to do for us. Whether the French are now, yeah, let's see, well, where are you going? All right, they just walked right past us, and they've blockaded Glasgow now as well. This is all like. I don't know what's going to happen here. This could go horribly wrong, or it could go really well. We have the opportunity to intercept them. Oh, 
Let's give it a go, see what happens. That was pretty successful. We only lost 300 men. We killed twice as many as we lost, so I'd say that was a successful uh, interception. And, uh, yeah, well, hopefully they don't come back. I'm, I'm just fingers crossed that the French don't have, like, some absolutely ridiculous-sized armies position somewhere. I think the fact that they've been at war with the Austrians for a while and they, they may well have used quite a lot of their troops, like they might have just been kind of building troops and immediately sending them to war. The Ottomans want an alliance. That's not technology in pain. I'm not sure whether I want an alliance with the Austrians. Uh, the Austrians? The Ottomans, because I am tempted in the short to medium term future to take on Istanbul. I think we'll just we'll just leave them for the time being. Again, I think they're at war with the Austrians, which may have changed actually. I think last week I had a look, and I don't think they are at war with the Austrians anymore. But you never know, because they could try and pull you into a war with the Russians or the Austrians or something. So probably prefer to just let the Ottomans do their thing as we uh, as we now wait again 20 minutes on the Ottomans building their machine of death or whatever it is they're doing that's taking the computer an absolute age to calculate, so we'll uh, we'll wait on this. Oh, we've got no money! What's happened? Right. So we have quite a severe issue here because we have now got no money. All of our trade... I mean, our trade's actually not that bad. We're still making... We're making 9,000. I mean, a trade is pretty bad, to be honest. We've lost the Ottomans, Russia, Hanover, and Portugal. who are some of our biggest trade allies. We've lost the trade with them. We've also lost some trade with people like... Well, we lost the trade with the French when we declared war on them. We also lost trade with America because they also declared war on us. Um, so we've lost a couple of trade partners there as well. But... Um, yeah, we're currently being blockaded, which is costing us quite a lot of money. And, uh, yeah, I'm not sure how much we actually make from Glasgow, but it's currently got a French fleet sitting inside it, which is not helping the situation. Um, I think the French trade's currently being blocked because there's a Swedish fleet who are at war with the... Sorry, not the French. The Russian trade, because the, the Swedish fleet is blockading this port in Russia, which is one of the ports that we use to trade with the Russians, so I think probably the only port, maybe this one. Well, that is a Russian port, but we don't trade with them, so, like, through that port. So, yeah, we're losing money there as well. So I might, given that we've now got a, a peace treaty with the uh, the Americans, try and get another trade agreement with them, hopefully. Why would you not take a trade Who doesn't want a trade agreement? Like, trade agreements are one of the most common, like, sought after things. Like, it benefits everybody. There we go. Good. Like, honestly, like, a, a trade agreement, it doesn't not benefit you having a trade agreement. Like, everybody everybody gains from a trade agreement, so why would you turn it down, really? Like, again, they just turn it down. Just give everyone technologies. Good, right. Is there anyone else we can trade with? Afghanistan, who gave us a swift fuck you the last time we tried to get a trade agreement with them. Still not still not interested. I'm not going to give them any technologies because, well, frankly, they don't have enough money to be worth having giving them technology in turn for trade. So I swear trade income come up a little bit, but it's still not great. I mean, I think there is a couple of places as well that have been exempt from tax that we're going to have to start taxing again. Places like this. We're just going to have to put up with the possibility of bad public order just to make the money that we need. Like, <laughs> Amsterdam are absolutely raging at the moment. Spain is annoying. For the size of it, it makes absolutely nothing. Like, Cuba makes about the same amount of money as this place. Right, so we're now taxing literally everywhere, and we're back in the black. We're making... Just under 10,000 a turn, which is still not great, but at least we're not currently looking at going bankrupt like we were the last turn. So, we now move this army closer to Paris. 
hopefully. Yeah, it's looking plenty of town guard, but not many in the way of actual real units. So I'm hoping that we're able to take this. The one worry is these guys over here, who went away over this way for some reason. So as long as they don't come back, we look like we're in a decent position to take France. Like, the country, like, the area of France. And then, uh, and then we can focus on taking everything else. Cologne has been taken over by the Austrians, but is now being besieged back by the French. Um, we have a couple of French armies around the place. We could go and try and take Brussels. Maybe take, like, half an army. The only worry is these guys here, which I don't think are that big a worry, to be honest. Any further order? Leaves us a pretty decent sized army. How many people do we actually have? Yeah, that's not too bad. And we could go and try and take Brussels. See if we can secure this in one go. Right, they have 500 more men than us. Right, I'll fight this myself, and hopefully things work out. Usually they have a way of working out in this game, but this is the closest we've been to being absolutely annihilated, given that the French are currently ruining some of our trade. Thank thankfully, they've taken over Glasgow and they didn't take Waterford, because that is really going to end us if they take Waterford, because I don't know if I'm going to have the ability to try and get rid of them. And given that we're currently spending all of our money on army upkeep, and we're taxing everywhere, if they do take Waterford, and we have no trade com income, then we're probably going to have to look at getting rid of quite a lot of troops just to try and get our, uh, our expenditure back down into a position where we can actually sustain ourselves. But that's all hypothetical, and hopefully it doesn't happen. So we'll uh, win this, fingers crossed, and then we can actually move on. Right, we will do the good old, we'll send people around the back of the walls whilst we're sending people at the front and just sur surround the place and see if we can get one of the gates open and then we can send a cavalry in and secure the centre. I think that's probably the best plan. So let's see what they've got to offer. They do have quite a lot of pikemen in the middle and some cavalry, but that's about it there. And then a load of, a load of men up on the walls. They have a lot of men. Oh, some of our men are already running away. We do have some men on the walls though. We really need to get somebody up on this side. Quickly. We have men climbing. Go on, secure the gate. Do it. The French are coming. The French are coming. Get the gate right now. This is imperative to our victory in this map in this like battle is that we secure this gate. Come on. We've got it. We've got it. Get in. <laughs> it's an absolute pile of cavalry waiting to get in the in the battle, but the gate's just not opening like it did last week. Our men are climbing the walls. It's unfortunate now that the pikemen have come back down here, because I'm not sure we stand much chance trying to take them on with our cavalry. We might actually get defeated here because a gate won't... Oh, there it goes. It finally opened. We're charging in. We are losing a lot of men, but I think their pikemen are dying pretty quickly. Oh, and apparently these guys all decide to run away. Right at the prime moment. Nah, I think this is it. I think we've lost. And we've lost the gate as well, so now we're, our cavalry is stuck inside. Right, we have a countdown. How long that will last, I have no idea, because the French are definitely going to start killing us. If we can just sit here for two minutes, we might win, but... I ah, see, they've managed to get one person in the middle, and that's pretty much it. It's game over. It literally is game over in this battle. We've got absolutely no chance. They've all run away. They've all decided to run away. And we lost, so, well, I mean, it wasn't really... <laughs> I didn't expect to turn it around from there, but... Yeah, that was a bit of a bit. That was a bit of a, a bit of a crap battle, quite frankly. I think I don't know. Maybe I just pushed too hard, took too many risks trying to take those men. I think they were still kind of battle scarred from their uh, their war trying to take Amsterdam, but we lost. I mean, we did a decent job of killing some of them, but it was just the sheer number of them. They just had so many, like you know, they had 
500 more men than us, so... Yeah, I don't know. We, we did well, I think. I think we did alright to try and get into the, the fort. And we secured a gate. And uh, we tried our best to try and secure the centre of the city, but it was just... By the time we had got to the point of securing a gate, so many of our units had decided that they'd had enough and started to run away that all we had left was the cavalry, and they just couldn't hold it. They just couldn't hold it, and that was the end of that. So, yeah, now we're in a bit of a situation, because we don't actually have any money to reinforce. <laughs> but, um, yeah, hopefully that doesn't backfire. And I think we're probably going to have to end turn again, because I'm not sure there's much else to do here. I'm surprised the French haven't tried to attack Milan yet. Seems like the obvious thing to do, but for some reason they've decided that they're not doing it yet. Alright, so the French have just put some more men inside Paris, but I think we might still be in a good position. But we may... oh no. We have 900 men. They have a load of cavalry. We have quite a few men, but nothing ridiculous. This is actually quite a balanced fight, although it's showing them as winning it. We have the more men, and we have the men that can stand on the walls. They have a load of cavalry, some cannons. They do have quite a few, like, infantry. But I think they're quite small units, so I think, like, we could get one or two, maybe three or four of them to run away. And then we take out the rest before they capture a gate, and the rest of them are basically useless. So we might have to fight this ourselves, because the game was showing it as being a bit of a, a bit more of a lean towards them being winning the fight. But I think if we fight this ourselves, if we play it smart, we should be able to hold on to it. And the last thing I want to do is lose Amsterdam now, after going through all the process of declaring war on the French and taking Amsterdam. To then just immediately lose it again is going to be a bit of a kicking the nads, so hopefully we can hold on to it. Right, so this is Amsterdam. Right, let's just start this, see what they have. Right, they're all coming from that direction, so we might as well move these guys over here. If the camera would turn, that'd be nice. Right, stick them over there. Whoa, what the hell is that? They got like for phosphorus cannons. Well, that's, uh, that's absolutely horrific. They just, like, burnt half of our men to death. Oh. Oh, again. It is, it's like phosphorus. That's mad. Where's the Geneva Convention when you need one? Keep an eye on these guys, because they're going away around the side. I'm just hoping they don't actually manage to get in. I'm just trying to keep my men moving, because I don't think the cannons, the phosphorus cannons, can't do much to us if we're constantly moving around the place. These guys are thinking of running away. Yeah, no, they are running away. Go on, lads, get the bayonets on them. Right, so you just ran past each other, that's a great idea. This guy just fell over out of exhaustion by the looks of things. Now they're up on here. Right, you guys really need to get yourselves over here quickly. Alright, these French are running away, which is good for us. These French are thinking of running away. Right, so they're off. So we might as well get these guys to come over here and help out. And these guys are running away as well. Good, right. It's just these guys we have to worry about. If we can get rid of these, if we can get them to run away, we stand a very strong chance of, uh, of winning here. Hold on, lads. Our reinforcements are coming. These guys are wanting to run away, but I'm concerned. They're not running yet, but they're thinking about it. I mean, credit to them. There's only four of them left, and they're not running away. They're still standing, fighting them. They've done a really good job just to hold them up, stop them from getting any advance into, this, into the center of the fort. There's only two of them left. They're still standing there, fighting. Fighting like champions. Just not letting the French get any sort of forward momentum into this fort. I don't even know where the other one is. This this guy's got taking the battle to them. He's climbing down the fort. <laughs> He's actually pushed them so far back they're having to go outside. This is looking strong for us. They're all running away. It's just these guys really that are the 
the problem here. If we can get rid of them, if we can get them to run away, and these guys as well, if we can get them to both run away, we stand a very, very strong chance here of, of securing this. Actually, if you guys go up here and try and get them from the rear, take these lads from the rear. How many are left? Only 66 of them. How many of these guys? 92. Still loads of them left. I think our one clansman died trying to, to hold off this, but he did a very good job. These guys are getting stuck right in. No hanging about. We're out of range of their phosphorus as well over in that wall, so we've got absolutely nothing. And even if they did want to shoot phosphorus at us, I mean, they're trying to shoot cannons at us, but I'm not sure we're going to be able to do much. Even if they did shoot ph phosphorus at us, they're just going to take out half their own men anyway, so it's kind of pointless. Go on, lads. Go on, lads! Bayonet them up the arse. Look, they've got no idea you're coming. Absolutely no idea. How many left? Only 32 of them left. And now they're about to be completely surrounded. And now, <laughs> yeah, and now they want to run away because they've got nothing. We've got the nowhere to go. What is this? What is this? There's only we've absolutely riddled them. There's only two of them left. One, and he's dead. Right, it's just these guys that are left now. How many left them? 32. Oh, it's falling. They're falling like fleas. And they're running away. It was a bit of a tactical victory. We still have to be a bit careful though, because these phosphorus cannons, they are shooting them at us. They're not quite hitting us. I think they're probably taking out more of their own men. So if I'm... I'm just going to move all my trips to the far side of the, uh, the fort, just to make sure that they've got absolutely no chance of hitting us with the cannons. And uh, we just have to hold it out. Actually, I'm not sure. We might lose. We might technically concede a defeat, because they besieged us. And they've still got loads of them left. But I'm not going to risk it to run out there and try and take them on. So, if I can just hold out for a turn, and we can then try and get reinforcements to them in a turn's time, and we'll, uh, should hopefully manage to see off the rest of them, but quite happy to just let this carry on being besieged for another turn because we've lost quite a lot of men but we have uh, managed to get them all to run away. I'm not sure, we may have to wait out the time. We may have to wait out the clock because although they can't do anything, although they can't actually secure the fort, they are still attacking us technically even though none of their cannons can reach us. So we're probably just going to have to sit here and wait for the next five minutes until the time runs out. Alright, well that took way longer than I expected it to take, but we've finally made it to the end of the battle. And, uh, well, we've made it to zero minutes and zero seconds, and it's finally ended. We uh, we actually apparently won. Which I'm kind of surprised at, because the last time this happened, when we fought in uh, in India, they, they, they just basically sat there outside the walls. We bombarded them with cannons, and then for some reason we technically lost, whereas this time we actually won. So, not sure how they managed to work that one out, but I'll take it. I'm happy. If they clear off, I'm more than happy. They lost... They lost more men than we did, which is quite good going. We did have more men, but... We, uh, yeah, they... I don't know how they had more men than... Like, we had more men than them. It felt like we had a lot less men than them, but... Nevertheless, we won. We'll take that. They've run away, which is very, very thankful. Very happy for that one. And they're sending French troops our way towards Milan as well. So I don't think it'll be too long before they're attacking Milan. You know what? I will accept that. I will accept a military alliance with Russia because we don't have enough allies. I'll say that again because I made an absolute catastrophe of the word allies. We don't have enough allies. We, we, we bit well, we had none. We absolutely had none. So, uh, yeah. Well, uh, we'll carry on with this and we'll see, hopefully, it doesn't backfire in some way, but it might it might help us in the long run to have the uh, the Russians as our allies. Given that we do share a border with them, 
just keeps just keeps them at, at bay so they don't cut decide that we're just gonna attack the Scottish all of a sudden. That's an interesting one. Austria have broken their alliance with the Marathas. Which means we could possibly look at getting an alliance with the Austrians as well. We've managed to hold on to Austria uh, to Amsterdam, so we'll send these guys back in there. And we shall replenish all of them. We shall also hire a general, because our last general died, I'm pretty sure, in that last battle. Um, I think it was the battle trying to take Brussels that he died. And we shall move all the way up and look at taking Paris. It's going to be a very balanced fight. Right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do that tomorrow. Well, not tomorrow. Next week, we shall take Paris. Um... Immediately, it will be the first thing we do at the start of next week's video is attack Paris because I don't want to put another battle in here because it'll it just makes the videos too long. I've already got two battles: the Battle of Brussels and the Battle of Amsterdam. That can be next week. We will do that immediately. We will take on Paris and hopefully win. But um, yeah, this is looking very, very interesting. I have no idea what the French are going to do. I would rather they attack us than we trying to attack them. I mean, we don't have any walls in Milan, but at least we have buildings we could try and reinforce. We do we have cannons? We don't have any cannons. Recruit some cannons just to just to keep them in the city so that we, when we get attacked, which is basically an inevitability at this point, when they do t attack us, we have the ability to have some cannons there to try and take as many of them out at distance as well. And canister shot is absolutely devastating once they get up close. So yeah, it would be quite useful to have them. If we do take France in next turn, if we do manage to secure Paris next turn, we will take a hefty amount of the French territory. We would only have three places left up here. Well, four places. Um, and Bastia as well, which is basically useless because it's on an island, so there's nothing much they can do from there. But um, um, they actually managed to get Cologne back from the Austrians, which I'm kind of surprised at. But I don't think it'll be too long. I mean, you look over here, the Austrians have got some pretty hefty armies. Um, they're also France at war with Hanover as well, I noticed. So Hanover will be attacking them. It's just a whole thing. This area here is an absolute catastrophe. It really is. Like, everybody's just absolute crunch point of destruction and death going on here. Um, but yeah, I was going to see if we could get an alliance with these guys. I couldn't do it before because they were at war. Um... No, they were allied with the Marathas, but that's now dead, so if we get an alliance with them, which we have, we now no longer have to worry about them, and they may help us out as well. When uh, when we get attacked by the French, the Austrians will be there to sort of help us out, hopefully, as well in that situation. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's looking pretty decent. It was pretty dangerous at one stage, but it's now looking not too bad. The French ship that came over here and blockaded Waterford has completely disappeared, so I have no idea where it went. But it's, uh... Oh, it went up here for some reason. It went up to uh, Belfast. Blockade a fishery, which, I mean, I'm not really sure why it's decided to blockade that, given that this is our main trading port. So, yeah, not too sure what their purpose of blockading that port is, but if they just sit there, then I'm quite happy for them to sit there. As long as we have this one and we're making money, then I don't really care. So, yeah, it's uh, it's not been that great a video. Not that many. Not that much stuff we was taken this week. I'm just going to kill those guys. I'll resolve that. Good stuff. How are you still alive? Please explain how how they survived that. That is just... Fine, right. Um, we may look at taking Fort de Chartes in, in next week's video as well. The only problem with that is the like bloody pilgrimage it takes to get up here. It's probably going to take about three turns. Um, and the fact that we're kind of hemorrhaging money at the moment is probably not the easiest thing to just leave a place without uh, any sort of guard behind for it to stop going completely tits up and them rebelling. They're, they're still... We're still being besieged inside this, uh, this city here, so yeah, I'm not sure how this is going to go, to be honest. We've got two turns until we surrender, so we need to do something about it, but these guys are pretty... Yeah, they're... I think we've got more men than us. I think that's the biggest problem. Let's see, have a look. So we've got 
got about 2,000 men. They've got 1,700, but for some reason it's saying that it's going to be a pretty 50-50 battle, so it may have to be... Yeah, it may have to be one that we do ourselves, which again will be next week, because I'm not doing it this week. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much going to... Who's at war? The Ottomans in Austria. Back at war again. Interesting. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much going to wrap it up this week. We may look at taking Istanbul at some point with this this army here from Bulgaria. And uh, yeah, given we don't have to worry about the Austrians anymore, that they're allies, then we could look at taking Istanbul pretty soonish. So yeah, it's, uh, it's yeah, as I said, it's not been a great episode. We've taken absolutely nothing this week. <laughs> <laughs> We've done absolutely bugger all. We've held on to Amsterdam. We tried to take Brussels and completely failed. Um, we then successfully managed to repel the French who tried to take Amsterdam back, which was a pretty successful battle for us. Um, and next week we'll hopefully take France, take Paris, and that'll be that'll be the start of next week's video. So yeah, if you've enjoyed this video, which most of you probably haven't, because I mean, I haven't really enjoyed it, to be honest. It's been absolutely god-awful to be part of. But if uh, if you have, then give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe as well if you want to keep up to date with all my stuff. And I'll catch you guys next week. So until then, cheerio. Yeah.